with this kind of look to it. And ulnar is basically the opposite. I'll just put all else. So all the muscles other than the opponents, abductor flexor of the pollicis, and the first three lumbricals. So if I said adductor, adductor pollicis, then you know it's under ulnar. Uh, I won't test that, but you might see it in an upper division course, and that is a typical trick question that could be asked for somebody. Abductor is controlled by median. Adductor is controlled by ulnar. So let's see what else we have. We have brachial plexus. We said roots. Rainbow tech, let's drink cold beer. Five, three, two, three, five. Five roots. C5, 6, 7, 8, T1. Musculocutaneous. This was arm and move. This is your five terminal branches. Axillary, shoulder, right? Musculocutaneous was the anterior arm. Median was the anterior forearm and the first three fingers and the thumb. Ulnar was the deep muscles of the hand other than the thumb. Um, radial nerve was radial tires are the best, right? So the back side of the arm was brachioradialis, extensors, supinator, and triceps brachii. So this is just an example of branches, or not branches, roots for brachial plexus, trunks for brachial plexus. This is showing you that the median nerve controls the first three, right? First three fingers. And then this is what it actually looks like. This is an amazing thing to expose if you guys are doing cadaver work in some anatomy lab. You can actually see the, the muscles that overlay this, the anterior and middle scalenes that it passes through, and then uh, an artery that passes in the middle of this, the subclavian, which then becomes the axillary artery and then travels through into the arm to become the brachial artery. So this, I should technically make you guys study all of the nerves from the brachial plexus, but I won't. You only have to know five of the, you guys can count for yourself how many more you would have to know if you actually knew this. For Cadaver Lab and the upper division courses, it's amazing. You get to study all of this, and then you get to memorize all the nerve names and where you find them physically, and then also um, what muscles it controls. So you have to memorize that for the exam, and then you have to know the origin insertion for all the exams. It's great if you guys want to take an upper division course for um, anatomy. Realize you're going to be spending a lot of time in the lab, but it's fun, and it's a great way to expose yourself to the material, especially if you're going to um, physical therapy or into medicine as a physician.